Good afternoon, my friends. Thank you for joining us for one more session of Kardec After Lunch, part of spiritismstudy.org and hosted by Kardec Radio. Um, and as it is customary, allow me to uh, say a few announcements. Please download the app, Kardec Radio's app, and listen to Kardec Radio's programs and podcasts. Feel free to send questions to Kardec Radio's Twitter account. And remember that all of this work is done by volunteers, but there are costs associated with web and app hosting, along with broadcast and publishing. So if you're able to, please be kind and donate so this work of love may continue for many years to come. God bless. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry for having been away for a week, um, dealing with some health issues, uh, but back now. Thank you, Saul, for joining us. I appreciate it. And um, although we just, about an hour ago, we read from Genesis in our regular spiritismstudy.org uh, uh, programming, if I could put it that way, uh, we are doing the Medium's book on Fridays at Kardec Radio. Hello, Tony. Thank you for joining us. I'm, I'm good and good. I appreciate it. I'm well medicated now and recovering. So I appreciate your concern. Um, so let me, uh, recap some of the reason why, uh, spiritism study started and some of its initiatives, Kardec after lunch being one of them. And the reason is I recently retired, uh, after 20 years in the U S Navy and by in, I've been studying spiritism, the, its philosophy and science since 2013. And part of it, of course, mentions that to those who have been given more, more will be asked of, right? Uh, being not being very familiar, not uh, uh, unfamiliar with a life of service after 20 years in the Navy, um, I decided, I was like, well, why not continue to serve? And why not, since now I have more time on my hands, I could do, I could study on my own, right? And not make this opportunity available to others and not broadcast it. But why? Why wouldn't I, you know? Why couldn't I put my uh, study sessions online? Why could not I offer my time and the small humble knowledge that I have acquired uh, and be able to assist others in building up their knowledge, right? Because everything that we have is God-given. Sorry, and I would say, God gives us the opportunities. So everything that we have, we have acquired through our own efforts based on God's opportunities. Another way to say it, perhaps, is sun rises for everyone, right? But early bird catches the worm. It's another, right? So we have to do our part. Now, while I'm trying to do my part, and I could be wrong and know what I'm doing, but it functions, it is uh, beneficial to me in my reality, in my current state of development of knowledge. Why could not I open that up to others? So <clears throat> Kardec After Lunch helps to expose Kardec's works to other people who are not uh, perhaps privy of them. Most of them uh, uh, know of two main works, being the Spirits book and the Gospel according to Spiritism. But some people are not aware of the other three books. Of course, there are more than, but those three seminal books, um, the Medium's book, Heaven and Hell, and Genesis. And uh, a lot of people also consider Kardec to be a very tough reading. And honestly, it is a involved reading and it does require a little more effort, but I guarantee that it is beneficial to read it. And the effort that you put in it, you will, you will reap its benefits tenfold. I, I, I really, I really believe in it. So, but without further ado, uh, sorry, we do have more initiatives, uh, part of spiritismstudy.org. Its main one is actually to pair volunteer tutors 
with volunteer students. And if you'd like to know more about, please uh, click on the link and go to our Facebook page, or you can go to spiritismstudy.org website and uh, send us a message, whichever. But we do have some more initiatives that also play a role in the active and involved study of spiritism, philosophy, doctrine, science. If you happen to have this edition here, this book, I suggest you open it up to page number 114. We are on chapter four, explanation of the physical manifestations. And if you don't have the book, you can go to kardecpedia.com and follow along that way. I suggest you follow along, uh, not only because of perhaps I may mispronounce something or speak perhaps too fast, but also because you may be able to uh, underline or highlight or mark down some uh, uh, words or other historical names of figures or characters or whatnot that it may be beneficial to you to look it up. So <clears throat> let's continue. Uh, so we are on item number 79. I'll start there. While I'm doing all of this, feel free to send in comments, questions, suggestions, and try to uh, entertain them. Uh, if you don't like your comment, question, or suggestion to be made public, feel free to send us a, a direct message or a private message. So, 71. When one creates a vacuum in a bell glass by using a vacuum pump, the bell glass sticks to the base and it is impossible to unstick the glass because of the air pressure holding it down. If air is put back into it, the bell glass is easy to unstick because the air pressure has been restored to equilibrium. And if it is left to itself, it will remain on the plate due to the law of gravity. This is, of course, is explaining uh, by the way of an analogy. However, if the air pressure inside the bell glass becomes greater than the air on the outside, the glass will rise in spite of gravity. If a rapid and rapid and forceful current of air is employed, the glass will remain suspended in the air without any visible means of support, like what happens with those dolls that spin upon the sprays of water fountain. <clears throat> so I imagine this particular mention here of the dolls that spin upon the sprays of water fountain, uh, perhaps popular during, I want to say carnivals or fairs or events of that sort. Now in Europe of the middle of the 19th century. So why wouldn't the universal fluid, the basic element of all matter accumulated around the table, not have the ability to increase or decrease the table's specific relative weight, <clears throat> just like the air does with a bell glass, or hydrogen does with balloons, without derogating from the law of gravity. Do you know about all the properties and the full power of this fluid? No. Well then, do not deny a fact simply, sorry, simply because you cannot explain it. <clears throat> really, there are, in our ignorance, uh, many times we ourselves have been perhaps guilty of this, where we try to deny something, deny its own existence, just because we cannot explain it or cannot, cannot even conceive of the idea of being it so, and we would just deny it. I was like, no, I don't believe it. And although it is your prerogative, you choose what to believe and what not to believe. It's entirely up to you. God has given you this, uh, <clears throat> this right. But at the same time, <clears throat> Your not believing in it does not, uh, whatever it is, does not cease to exist or cease to apply, right? You may not believe in the law of gravity. It will still apply its force upon all that exists. Same thing with God. You may not believe it exists. It still is there. Now, little by little, as we develop our intellect or spirit or sense of reasoning or judgment, we should 
uh, accordingly change our beliefs, right? Couldn't be any different. Going on number 80. <clears throat> Sorry for that. Let us return to the explanation of how a table moves. If a spirit can lift a table by the means indicated, then it can lift anything else as well. An armchair, for example. And if it can lift an armchair, it can also lift it with a person sitting on it if it uses enough force. Thus, we have provided an explanation for the phenomenon that has been produced a hundred times by Mr. Holm. This is a, a footnote here, number 17. So it's referring to a specific person, and you may grasp the person's entire name from the footnote. Like I mentioned before, I suggest you do uh, follow through and looking up certain you know, terms to help in cementing uh, and retaining this information that we cover. So Mr. Holm himself and by others too. He repeated it on a recent trip to London and in order to prove to his audience that they were not victims of an optical illusion, he made a mark on the ceiling with a pencil and also allowed them to pass beneath the chair. Everyone knows that Mr. Holm is a powerful physical effects medium. In this instance, he was both the efficient cause and the levitated object itself. So Kardec made, I would say use, mm, collaborated with many mediums uh, at the time. Some of them were named and we can find out more about them nowadays, um, looking up research books and whatnot that was written about them. However, I have to say this, <clears throat> uh, very prevalent at the time and nowadays as well, there is a lot of skepticism regarding uh, many of those historical figures, uh, characters and you know, persons, named in the doctrine. Uh, and as you research about them online, most particularly, let's say Wikipedia, because it's a free for all, you no know, editing source of knowledge. Although I, I, I really value Wikipedia, I'm actually a monthly contributor, uh, financial, not, you know, article wise, <clears throat> but <clears throat> Many, uh, there's a lot of skepticism, uh, a lot of outright, you know, condemnation uh, as you look up certain of those characters. But one thing you can be certain, were there people who benefited from others and by fraudulent means? Yes, there were then, there are now. That does not mean that every single one is of the same group, right? Much the same way that, that people have benefited from just about any occupation that it's known to man or any type of information and try to benefit from at the expense of others. That does not mean that we should discount uh, all of those occupations or the people who perform those services or the knowledge itself behind it, right? <clears throat> Uh, we're actually getting close to the end. So we're going to save the increase and decrease in the weight of objects, which is item number 81, for next week. And as I mentioned, I try to keep those, the, those sessions pretty short, 15 minutes reading commentary, because I really like to be able to, to reach you, the audience, during your daily routine. And that way, perhaps, some of this, those... Uh, some of the topics that we're covering may assist you during your day where you can actually benefit from the interaction of others in your life uh, and take full advantage of those opportunities that God places in our path so we can benefit from reoriented and improving on our thoughts, our words, and our actions to fall in line with His laws so we can affect the required progress that is expected of us. 
Thank you for joining us. Thank you for your support. Until next time, Godspeed to all.